Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome. So what I thought I would do is uh, do a little bit of a walkthrough video on digital roots, uh, vortex math, some of the more basic stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in. What is a digital root? A lot of people ask me this. What is a digital root? I talk about digital roots all the time. Digital roots are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The reason that a digital root is only nine singular digits or one of nine singular digits is because a digital root is the sum of all digits in a number until there's only one left. Okay, so just understanding that logic, if you're at 10, one plus zero is still going to take you back to one. If you're at 11, one plus one is going to take you back to two. If you're at 22, two plus two is going to take you back to four. So no matter how big the number gets, you can always reduce it down to one singular digit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. All right. That is the understanding of a digital root. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some examples of that. So we're going to take a date and we're going to take 722, 2022. We're going to add all the digits together. Seven plus two plus two plus two plus zero plus two plus two. It's going to be 17. And then one plus seven is going to be eight because 17 still has two digits. So you just add them together. I like to imagine it, uh, just crushing them together. Just keep crushing them until you have one singular digit left. All right. The number 25,920. If you take two plus five plus nine plus two plus zero, it's going to be 18. And one plus eight is going to be nine. So you're just crushing it down to where you have one digit left. That is what your digital root is. So the digital root of 18 is nine. All right. Okay, so Nikola Tesla said, if you only knew the magnificence of three, six, and nine, you would have a key to the universe. And I'm going to show you why he actually said that. All right, so if you take those digital roots that I was just talking about, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and you remove the three, six, and nine, you are left with 12, 45, and 78. Okay, as you can see right here, 12, 45, and 78. If you take the first digit of each one of these, one, four and seven, you end up having 147. Okay. One plus four plus seven is going to be 12 and one plus two is going to be three. If you take the last digit going counterclockwise, you have eight, five, and two. Well, eight plus five plus two is 15 and one plus five is six. So remember, he said, if you want to understand the magnificence or if you only need the magnificence, focus on three, six, and nine. Okay. Three, six, and nine is still going to give you three, six, and nine because three plus six is gonna be nine, okay? So one, four, seven at the top, if you're going clockwise, this is very important when we're talking about our chakras because all chakra frequencies are found going counterclockwise. Eight, five, and two is your third eye chakra frequency found going counterclockwise. I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so that's an understanding of just basics of digital roots, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And I mentioned to you that 852 is a frequency that is directly connected to your chakras. Well, there are actually seven of them. And that's what I'm going to show you. The seven frequencies that you see here are 396, 417, 528, 639, 741, 852, and 963. And each one of these is directly correlated to a chakra. 396 is your root chakra. 417 is your sacral chakra. 528 is going to be your solar plexus chakra. 639 is going to be your heart chakra. 741 is going to be your throat chakra. 852 is your third eye. And 963 is your crown chakra. Okay. So now that you understand that, I want to show you where you can find these numbers. I told you that you can find them by rotating counterclockwise. But you're probably asking, what am I rotating? So let's look at that. So if I were to take a circle and I were to put nine at the top and then move over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I put a triangle or a tetrahedron, however you want to, if I rotate this counterclockwise, I am going to reveal these numbers. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we're going to take that away. So you can just see the triangle and the numbers and we're going to rotate counterclockwise. So here we go. Boom. Okay. So if we're rotating counterclockwise, we see that we have eight, a five, and a two. Well, A5 and 2 is our third eye chakra. It's our third eye chakra frequency. Let's do it again. All right. Now we have 7, 4, and 1. Well, 7, 4, and 1 is going to be my throat chakra. All right. So as you continue rotating, if I were to do it again, it's going to be 6, 3, and 9. There's your 6, 3, and 9. Then it's going to be 5, 2, and 8. 
five, two, and eight. Then it's gonna be four, one, and seven, four, one, and seven, and then it's gonna be three, nine, and six, taking you back to the very beginning. Okay, so as you're rotating this counterclockwise, you're gonna reveal these numbers and you're gonna see that happen. Okay, now if you were to rotate the other way though, okay, let's rotate the other way. Now you see two, five, and eight. We go again, we're gonna see four, seven, and one. Okay, so if you rotate clockwise, you end up having completely different numbers. You're actually going to have three, six, and nine. You're gonna have four, seven, and one. You're gonna have five, eight, and two. You're gonna have six, nine, and three. You're gonna have seven, one, and four. You're gonna have eight, two, and five, and you're gonna have nine, three, and six. And all that is, is it's just half mirrors of every single one of these numbers. Okay, these two numbers just rotate. Three, six, and nine, or three, nine, and six. Okay, and the reason that once you have these two columns of numbers, once you have three, nine, six, and three, six, nine, four, one, seven, and four, seven, one, we had to figure out which one was a frequency and which one was a vibration. We know that three, six, and nine is energy, no question about it, but we didn't know which one was vibration and which one was frequency. And so, what we did is we looked at the fact that we know that 528, 528 hertz is an actual frequency. It is not only your solar plexus frequency, but it is also a color frequency. In fact, all of these are color frequencies. So once you match them up, you start to notice, okay, these are the frequencies, which means the other ones are the vibration, okay? So when you look at this, if you were to overlay and create an actual star tetrahedron, you would have something that looks like this, okay? So as you can see, we would have the frequency, which is the eight, five, and two. And then below we would have the one, four, and seven. So this is all an understanding that frequency and vibration are just illusions of energy. It doesn't matter whether you're dealing with frequency. It doesn't matter whether you're dealing with vibration. They are both illusions of energy. Energy is the one constant. Frequency and vibration are the variables that actually change. Okay. That is all we're talking about. I just wanted to give you a rough understanding of digital roots. I wanted to explain to you the chakra frequencies and where you can find them. And I wanted to show you the difference between the energy, frequency, and vibration. Okay, because another famous quote that Tesla said was, if you want to understand the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. All right. So it is important to understand that putting these all together is going to reveal to you that three, six, and nine are energy. Okay. One, four, and seven are vibration. Eight, five, and two are frequencies. All right. Get your nine vibes aligned.